Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Aries Galaxy Nation. Probably changing that name in the next one or two weeks, maybe in the next episode. So, if you're wondering why this is in the background, this is actually Desperate Housewives. I recently started watching it. So, sorry. So, coming in, we actually fi find out what the deal is with Carl Jacobs. And if you're wondering why I'm looking down the whole time, it's because I wrote a few lists, list of things that I want to talk about in this episode. And actually, I like my, I didn't brush it or anything. Like, this is sleepy, and it's actually looking good. Like, seriously. This is not how I usually go to college, like seriously. I call it better than this. And and my hands is like hands like feeling so it feels sticky because of the of the conditioner that I use use to gel it. And I won't be going to school up until Monday. Today is Tuesday. Let me just check here. Nope, today is Wednesday. I'm gonna edit. I'm going to edit and release this video today still Ooh, i have like a lot of time on my hands so talking about carl jacobs his friend derek i can someone please tell me what happened to derek because in because after his backstory played he was on the phone and then he cried like like i don't know I couldn't hear what was going on because I was watching that episode in the lounge and my sister my sister and her friends were, were playing playing there outside so I, so I couldn't actually hear what was going on in like in the in the quiet scene so can someone please comment down below why I was crying and I tried to go research it but nothing came up and another thing is basically Derek was Carl's first love, like they did everything together. They had sleep I think they had sleepovers, I'm not sure. But what is wrong with Carl's father? Like that man creeps me out. He's like Carl Jacobs. He's like Never mind. I thought I saw something outside. Oh, where was I? He's like Carl Jacobs, like a dull Carl Jacobs. Like, what? What is going? On? What went wrong with this male, um, uh, male line of the Jacob fa Jacob family starting with Nate's grandfather? I'm like itching all over. I don't know why. It's it's, it's like it's the heat, man. When when there's heat, I itch. And then another thing is, Rue, I don't know what else to say about Carl Jacobs because uh, because they didn't like play play it like through the whole episode. Like the only other scene that Carl, that I can remember Carl was in was the one where he's asking Fez, Fez about the tape and then actually, and actually Fez, Fez like, bitch what the fuck, what tape are you talking about? I don't know anything about no tape, I don't know. What are you talking about? Your son is lying. He probably has the tape. Like I said in the last video, Nate has the tape for a fact. He has the tape. He has it hidden somewhere. And who the hell tapes? Who the hell tapes? And he can actually go to jail for two things. For two things. Having sex with a minor, Jules, and for typing without permission multiple typings any of the people who's in those types finds out they can actually press charges and then i don't know how long how long can you go to jail for statutory rape like seriously i really think i see something outside on the floor but never mind like you can go to jail for for not only statutory rape but for taking a video of a sex tape without the permission of the other people they can actually press charges because basically that is um I can't get I can't get to the legal term but we all know what I'm trying to get it. Another thing is Rue is getting crazier by the episode. Episode one was funny. 
episode 2 was like, what? Episode 3, what the fuck? Are you gonna get high every ep- are you gonna- are you getting high every episode? Are you gonna get high every season? Like, what is wrong with her? Like, seriously. Like the- like the first scene, she's in, she starts singing, dancing, whatever. And I knew someone was gonna be sitting somewhere and that person was Gia. Like, Gia was like, are you high? Like, like, she- <laughs> Like, she didn't even have to, um, I have to be like, can I ask you a question? Are you okay? She was like, flat out, are you high? And yes, she is high. I'm just really sad that Gia does not, did not ex- expect it right away. Because, because whenever, because mostly when Rue is high or something, her, her speech slows down. And, and when it's like, when the um when the drugs is like beginning to get out of her system, she's like going on a honey palooza. You know what I'm talking about. I really hope someone catches her out. I'll put jewels. I'll put jewels. <gasps> Speaking about jewels, at first I thought um Ru and what's this guy's name? I wrote his name somewhere down. Elliot. I thought Ru and Elliot was gonna be a thing. I had my phone buzz quickly. No. First, I thought Rue and Elliot were, were like a thing, but now I think Jules and Elliot can be like a thing because originally Jules, like in the sense of term, is a bottom, like Jules is a bottom. And Elliot, I'm not sure what is Elliot because he says he doesn't know what he is, like he doesn't put the label, <laughs> put the label on it. But I'm guessing he's bisexual, so, and I think he's also a top because he looks like a top, so yeah. So I'm guessing, if not, he's going to end up with one of them or both of them at the same time. I hope, I hope it's both of them. Oh, I don't know. And okay, moving on. Oh, and another, and another thing coming back to Jules. Uh, not to Jules, um... Doru and Gia is the, the episode I, I consider it the best Euphoria episode that I've ever watched so far. Season one can't match up to episode episode three, season two of Euphoria, and like it's like sad in a way because when Joel, when I, I'm not sure was it in Rose's head or or whatever, but when Jules and and um. When Gia and Ru were fighting, they were like pushing each other. I'm like, oh, please. I was like, please. Please, please. Enough on that. Moving on. And coming back to Lexi, Cassie's sister. As we know, since season one, she's a main character, but she's more, more looked at. As a recurring character, like she's there, but she's not there. And this episode also is like a semi Lexi episode. Like we didn't know Lexi's a writer. The only the only other writer that we know about is Cat. Like seriously. In this episode we get to know more about why she's the way she is and she sees herself as is the director of of other people's lives. Like, you know the director sits on the sidelines she sits on the sidelines and she she's writing this play what's the place name oklahoma i think i think it's oklahoma yeah she's by bi- it's basically a play about her life her father no was her father part of it i can't remember her mother her sister how how they treat her and all that stuff it's just like you see why it's considered the best episode like see i considered the best episode Another question is, what the hell is wrong with Cassie? Like seriously, what is wrong with Cassie? Season one, she wasn't even scry. I don't. I. What did she even scry in season one? Did she even scry in season one? Do you know what? I'm gonna put the photo of how she. I'm gonna put the photo here of how she looked in season one and here how she looked in season two. 
just so you guys can see the difference because it's every single episode now cry baby cry baby cry baby cry baby and i can't i can't i can't handle it it's like it's like it's like what she learned in season one was thrown out the door like she knows how night treated maddie she knows how night treated maddie here yeah, just all running to night and another thing is did she not learn did did she not learn anything from season one? Like seriously, her her storyline her storyline was spread out. Like there was like a revealing piece of of her in every single episode. Like her relationship problems with Mackay, her relationship problems with Mackay. Her um her relationship with her mother, relationship with her she has daddy issues, people. She, do you know what? I think it's their daddy issues. Like, whatever Mackay did to her, that we couldn't see. Like, why was Mackay crying in that one episode? Like, I can't, like, like, I'm still trying to figure out why did he cry in that one episode. But I also want to say, is Knight and Cassie should make it official. Like seriously, they should make it official. And I want to, I want to end off by by saying, what is Faye's whole thing? Like, like what is her character storyline? Because all we know is she's a heroin, a heroin addict, a heroin addict, and that's all. And now she's living with who is like I want to know. What is her theme that, that's going on? So thank you guys for listening. We almost 30 minutes into this episode. Please like, subscribe, comment. And I can't wait to watch the new episode. Which is coming out in 5 days. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. 4 days. But I'm, gonna, I'm only going to watch it in 5 days. Because... Because by the time it is in in Los Angeles, it's like already Monday morning, like 7 o'clock, 7 o'clock here by us. So please like, subscribe, comment, or don't do anything of it. See you guys next week. Cheers. That is going to be my new one. Cheers. Cheers. Like the series.